welcome. My name is Prue or Prue Larue and we are finally here. I'm so sorry for the delay in this video. I've just been like a little bit of a perfectionist. Hopefully it pays off, but uh, I mean, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Today we are going to compare 14 eyeshadow primers and we averaged out at about 10 hours for a wear test. For the wear test with these eyeshadow primers, I was working in a different job than what I usually work where I was a clinical facilitator for nursing students. My shifts were 7 to 3.30 and 1 to 9.30. There is a considerable difference when I switch to mornings uh, because I'm not very awake at 6 a.m. But I powered through it for you guys and you will see it after the first five and then the next five. I'm just so tired. So I hope you guys don't mind. I tried to remember to show you my phone to prove the times, but at times I forgot. My job was quite stressful. I'm going to blame it on that. So you'll see me pop it up sometimes, and then you'll see it not pop up. If I didn't do that, I went back to the recording times of the video to figure out how long I wore the look for. For my shifts that were 1 to 9.30, you'll see me come back at 10 or 11, but that's because parking is a bitch. Usually I was getting ready at 12 um, and once I like at 1. I bought new primers during the filming and it was actually going to be like only 10, I think. What was it? 8. It wasn't going to be as many as it ends up being. I do show mascara and liner and I show the application of the shadows in each look. I'll have the timestamps down if you're interested in a particular primer and how it wore. And I will also have a summary at the end of the video that you can look at. Sometimes I look like an absolute mess when I finish work. Um, that's because the job was stressful. So my apologies. And you also see me go from casual to my work uniform for the, all the returns. Usually when I was getting ready, it's just nice to pretend I'm not going to work. So I wore casual clothes, changed into work after filming. And I got really, really sick of using the same shades. It's no shade to the palette or anything. It's just that if you watch my channel for any amount of time, you know that I do lots of different kinds of looks all the time, different kind of color combinations. I do like a neutrals, but I like to, I, I don't like to be stuck in a box. I tried to give myself as much option as I could. We used the Glaminatrix Sandra Rose for this wear test that came from you guys that follow me on my Instagram voting where it ended up being between Sandra Rose, Colourpop Yes Please and Too Faced Gingerbread. This one won obviously and it being handmade eyeshadows is a slightly different formula from other ones you would see. I believe it's currently available but it's limited edition but I do love this part. For the looks I tried to stay in a very neutral area. We used Jasmine as a nice little inner corner a lot. We used Pollen a lot. Petal, Bud, Flora, and for my list I must have used Nectar, I think I mentioned it at least once. It wasn't in a full look. I used Botanical one time, and Seed. So those are all the shades sort of swatched out. Very pink purple looks that I did the whole time. I tried to keep them into different formulas if I did adjust what ones I used, but mostly the shimmer is always the same. I would like to challenge you guys to go through as you're watching this video and see how you think they rated. I rated them on like a five star system just for like a bit of fun. So I'd be curious to see what ones you think were the most successful and at the end I'll summarize them. Or if you just want to skip the whole thing, feel free. There will be timestamps below. Okay, thank you for watching. And I'm sorry this is long. Go get a coffee or some food. Chill. <laughs> anyway, here we are finally. First one we're going to start off is a Smashbox Lid Box Primer. Lid Primer. <laughs> so let's get in. I might as well talk through this first one. I'll see. I'm not sure where it's going to go. But we're going to put the lid box. I could call it lid. The Smashbox Primer in light on. So I'm just going to blend this out. And these are all going to be very quick looks. And then I will like try and take some notes and come back at night and tell you how long they lasted. So I think let's start in with pollen, which is this shade here. I'm just going to put this lightly in my crease. And I am aiming for a not pigmented look. So this is good if you are interested in the Sandra Rose palette and want to see if it's like a wearable everyday palette, which I think it is. Um, I feel strange doing such a simple look. It has been a while since I've sort of shared my work looks with you guys. 
I do have like a few videos about how I wear my makeup at work and it hasn't really changed. Um, except I probably do actually wear my makeup less. So I'm just putting petal on the outer corner. I'm just going to put petal underneath my eye. Oh, and I forgot to try the eyeshadow primer underneath my eye. And then for a shimmer, I think let's put rose on. I'm just going to go back in with pollen. I just want to bring that a little bit more over the top. And I guess I might as well put jasmine on my inner corner. Okay, jasmine didn't really like that brush I used. Um, I need to use a bit more delicate. Because they are handmade shadows, they're just like a little bit more... They need a little bit more finessing. Now I'm not going to do any eyeliner. I'm just going to put mascara on. And I'm probably going to keep using the Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. I do need something on my waterline. It's been a long time since I pulled out Honey Dude. Alright, that's it. That's the final look. It is 11.55 right now. 11.52. And this is my work makeup for today. Thank you so much. Hello, welcome back. So I'm in my work uniform. So um, this primer did not go well. Let me show you. And after 10 hours, this is what it all looks like. Oh my God, it just looks gross. I'll see you for the next one. All right, we are back for day two. And today we are gonna use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I'm just gonna lay this one down and this is the original formula. All right, so let's go into petal. Oh, well, there is already a little bit more tackiness. And it's really grabbing the shadow. Then let's use a little bit of pollen. My brain wants to use nectar. It's like, let me wear the book of, let me wear the purples. I nearly dipped into it. Ah, and on the lid, rose, I guess. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go into jasmine with a different brush today. Let's put that a little bit of inner corner. Once again, honey dude on the waterline. And I'm gonna use the Lancome Hypnose Mascara today. All right, let's bring you in so you can... Anyway, I'm sorry the audio has just messed up. I don't know what happened to it. I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, this is the look today. Audio will be fixed in the next section. Let's get rid of that mascara. All right, I'll see you in a couple hours. Oh, it is 1 p.m. All right, I'm excited to show you a much improved experience. It is... 11 p.m. Shimmer is still there, and a corner is still there. The mascara went to shit though. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Let's throw that one out. Because I'm pretty sure that must be expired. It transferred instantly and then it set. I couldn't get rid of it. But we've lost a little bit of the shimmer here, just with the hood of eyes. But it's not too bad. Nothing compared to yesterday. Yesterday had me worried that this wouldn't even work. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Hello, welcome to day three. And today we're going in with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, an old classic that I've used a lot. I'm actually not the most hopeful for this one. And my foundation is, I don't know, the concealer is a bit off, but I, I don't have time to fix it. So, so be it, but it's all right. So I'm just gonna prime my eyes with this MAC Paint Pot and blend it on. I'm just going to blend out the edges a bit with my finger so we don't have any harsh edges because we are doing a very natural look and I'm not going to cover a lot of this area. Oh, my foundation is untriggered today. All right, so going in lightly, I'm going to use Bud today. I feel like mixing it up with like a small amount. And going in, I'm going to go in a little bit with the seed. I am struggling a little bit doing sort of the same look each day. So let's just warm it up a little, like put some brown on the outer corner. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to go on with bud again and just bring that over the top of this brown. And then let's go in with, should we do botanical today? I feel like botanical is a very similar formula to rose, which is the one we've been using like every day. And then jasmine for the inner corner. Oh, and I realized I didn't do anything under the eye. Uh, let's put, I'm gonna use the same brush I just put jasmine on, because I don't really care. Let's go in with Nas Climax. And before I do that, honey dude on the waterline. All right, today's look, I, I feel I'm, I'm like I'm just seeing some different colors on my eyes. This is a nice feeling. My eyes have been super watery, so I'm sorry if you can see that, but I shouldn't affect our look. It is 11, 40, 11 54. I'll see you soon. Whew. All right, here we are back for another one. So after about three hours, this went a bit bad. Um, it could be worse. Definitely not good though. A bit disappointing really. All right, that's me. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, <laughs> back again. So today we're gonna do the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer. I'm kind of super excited for this one because well, I don't know. I've, I've really enjoyed using it. I feel like it's going to be good on the eyes. It does a crease on me, but I don't think that should affect it. So I have super high hopes for this primer going in. Let's see if I am right or wrong. The primer is a very whitening. It's a bit fussy sometimes. Well, let's go to Polly. On the outer corner, petal. Feeling a bit purple. I think Flora looks like it's a similar shade, like a similar formula to Rose and Botanical. And back is on my way. Oh, I'm sorry, I left the fan on. I'm sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. We are too far in now for me to restart this. And I do have to go to work, so I, I don't have time. I feel like it looks a little bit different. So let's go Flourish, which I'm pretty sure is a different, is a more of a foil formula. And the others maybe a mom. And then Petal underneath the other. All right, it's a bit like stark white above the top. I wonder what I can do. Maybe more Petal. I'm gonna pull in just like a skin tone shade for the above from a different palette because this one doesn't have one. All right, I'm gonna go into my gingerbread palette, gingerbread spice, and go into Figgy Pudding. Hopefully this isn't too dramatic. I think in daylight, it's gonna, not gonna look as maybe intense. Well, I don't think it looks that intense for you, does it? Then going into mascara today, I, I think let's not go too crazy. For some reason I bought the Colourpop mascara in brownie points a little while ago. I think I was just seeing a lot of stuff about brown mascara. So I thought, hey, now's my time. I'm getting really sick of Honey Dude already. I'm gonna go the NYX Faux White in Linen. I don't know what happened to my nose, but I lost all the foundation. So I'm gonna fix that. Maybe I'll just come back in a sec. All right, I think I'm fixed. I don't know. There's not much I can do. Hopefully it looks acceptable to you guys. Here is the look for today. All right, I will see you back here. See, much better like zoomed out. I will see you back here in a while. It is 1 p.m. All right, this, this eye primer was disappointing. Uh, after about three hours, it was like, already a bit crap. And it's gone gross. Oh my god, I hate it when it does this. I had such high hopes. I don't know, man. I'm really sad. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. 
How's the to work for another one? I'm not sure it's having an audio. I'm sorry, the lighting is a bit funny today. My window is open. And um, look, we're not really here to see the same look every day, are we? We're here to see proof that I put this bloody eye primer on and uh, see how it looks when I come back. So this is the NARS Tinted Proof Eyeshadow Base in Light. And I have high hopes for this one. I really have high hopes. We've had... How many pairs have we had? It's time to get depressing. Uh, we have had one succeed of four. So we've had three fails this week already. I've been a bit disappointed by this. NARS eyeshadow base, here we come. You are expensive. Oh, so it's like a powdered or cream. I like it, I like it. And it has meshed in beautifully with my skin. Oh, look at that. Which is a nice change from the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Let me grab my brushes for our look. All right, and I felt a bit, a bit too bold at work yesterday, so I can't even look better. And we're just gonna do a real light look today. Straight in with our shade, we're gonna put rose on. Are you surprised? I forgot to put anything on my outer corner. Let's just put a smidge of pollen. And did anyone see when like this little dent happened? I don't know when that happened, but it's been annoying me. And I'm just gonna put this on my outer corner. I didn't even do concealer today. I wasn't in the mood. Well, I, yeah. I wore the e.l.f. camo yesterday and that thing just did not budge. So I thought it'd be fun to try no concealer today. Something a bit different. Let's put a little bit of pollen underneath my eye. Nothing too smash snazzy though. And a little bit of jasmine on the inner corner. Just like a tiny bit. I don't want the florist shade. It's such a beautiful. It is really a beautiful shade, but it's more like um, a not for work shade. Is that today's look? I believe that might be it. Well, oh yeah, I should do something on the waterline. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Faux White in Seashell. And for the mascara today, I am feeling like Clump Crusher from CoverGirl. And are we zoomed in as far as we can? Oh no, we got a little bit of zoom. Here we are. All right. Fingers crossed for success today. Um, I will see you. It is 12.33. I'll try to remember what time it is, but I'm pretty tired by the time I finish. Um, we'll see you at the end of the day um, and see how this went. Thank you so much. Hello. All right. I haven't even looked at this yet. I'm kind of excited. So the NARS primer. How did we go? Not bad. Not bad at all. We have seen worse. I don't know. I feel like I should be saying something about how they rate. But... Alright. I'll see you like on Monday. It's Friday for me now. Pretty exciting. 10pm. I can do a different eye look over the weekend. I'm kind of excited. Hello. <laughs> so this is the Fenty primer. It's 11 p.m. So six hours wear with it. And this is wearing the look that I used in the Angelica Nyquist Moonwell. Oh, damn. This is good. We're going to have to do a full length, I think, just to see how it goes. Wow. Oh, look at that foundation. All right. See you next time. Morning. All right. So today I'm going to do the full test with the Fenty Primer. I bought this over the weekend and tried it out. You would have just seen the look. And we're moving into morning. 
warning applications. So I'm going to be more sleepy when you see me. So let's just go in nicely with, I feel like pollen. Just going in with petal. And then final rose. I'm going to use my Natio Amplify and Separate Mascara. Let's bring you in. I have high hopes for this one. Let's see what it looks like in a couple of hours. It's 6.20. I'll see you in like 8 or 9 hours. Alright, we have finished. I forgot how long it's been down there. And let's bring you in to see how the Fenty Primer held up. Mm. Not the best, but not the worst either. We've got the loss there and there. And there and there. I don't know, it looks it. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just where it's fully come off. Hmm. Strange. So, I don't know. It worked so well on the weekend, I'm a bit confused. Alright, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning! I'm so excited. Today it's Old Faithful, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've loved this when I've used it, and I'm curious to see how it rolls today. Alright. What, um, I don't know, man. We're not doing anything inspired here. Uh, well, let's use pollen and just go in on here with it. Petal, just to have a little bit in the outer corner. Oh, sorry, I left the window open today. It's just like, I don't know, it's like a nice morning out there. Let's go with Rose. Do I need to show you these colours anymore? I've shown them to you like a gazillion times and I haven't changed. Right, I guess we should do something under the eye. Let's put a little bit of petal. Alright, we shall do this. I'm going to put NYX linen in the waterline today and then let's give Too Faced better than sex another well so take note I have very high hopes for this one today what do you reckon do you reckon that Too Faced Shadow Insurance is going to show us and I did actually make sure to put like a reasonable amount on I feel like that's what I went wrong with the Fenty I maybe didn't put enough on because when I put lots of Fenty on, when the first time I put the Fenty one on, it lasted really well. So I don't know. I'm curious to try it some more. I'll see you in like a uh, couple hours. All right. We are back. Whew. What a day. Let's bring you in and have a look. So I have pretty high hopes. This held up pretty well. Look, there's actually no loss of shadow. I mean, we have transfer, but we have that all the time. This side, we have a little bit of loss of shadow. That's pretty good. I don't know, man. I am happy with these results. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hello. All right. So, um, I kind of realized we didn't have many drugstore primers in this thing. But one of my friends pointed it out. So we're going to start off today. We're going to put a nude by nature perfecting eye primer I feel like this might even be the first product I've ever tried from nude by nature but they uh chemist warehouse actually have 50% off on all of our, our makeup at the moment so I thought it was a good time to go and see what primers I could pick up from there so we are going to expand the primers it was like a weird kind of strange formula Right, we're a little bit tacky 
let's uh let's go in with today's look low petal My battery is low. Let's see if I lose the microphone. I'm also out of coffee today. It's a very sad day. I am not enjoying it. Um, oh, we won't lose recording. I'm just going to dab into the petal again with a smaller brush. And bring this down here. And petal around the eye. Alright, and let's put... I kind of just wanted to use Jasmine, to, to be honest. Um, this is my dirty brush, so I'm being lazy and see what happens. I thought it would be fun to just wear the white. Mascara, of course. How could I forget? Let's go in with Maybelline The Falsies. It's so annoying, I managed to get mascara on there. Like mascara, what are you even doing up there? get back in your place let's bring you in show you where we're at so you can see where we end up all right I will see you in a couple hours all right I don't even know the microphone is not working but here we are with new by nature check in how do we think we went not good it was pretty much crap at about an hour in and we are like was nearly 4 p.m yeah like that's terrible so bad there's only shimmer in the crease i'm not impressed at all i mean did i expect it kind of I don't know. but we I felt like we needed some drugstore in here really did all right well, I'm going to go decide which one we're going to use tomorrow, and I will see you in the morning. Alright, I'm excited today. We've got the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer to test out. I'm pretty sure people like this one, uh, so I'm keen. Just dubbed it out on my thing, and then let's put it on the eyes. Did I get that all over my lashes again? I managed to get it everywhere. That is a messy. Oh, I got something stuck in my mouth. So let's just dab it out a bit, try and get it so it doesn't look too crusty. What the fuck? We're kind of back in business. Alright, so the Lorac Primer is down, is ready. Let's go put some stuff on the eyes. Shall I just, I'm gonna stop showing you the damn palette. I'm gonna go into petal. And just put this all over my crease. Then using my little touchy touch brush, I'm gonna go into pollen and just dab this on the outer corner. And then going into, you guessed it, rose. And a little bit of jasmine. Yeah, mascara. Let's actually use Bad Girl Bang today. All right, I managed to like get eye primer on my lashes, which I'm sure you saw. But now they're all clumped. Oh, I don't really have time to fuck around with this because I don't. <sighs> Alright, it's just gonna have to be this way today. I'm sorry. It looks crappy, I know. Uh... Alright, here's the look. I shall see you back. It's like 6 a.m. I'll see you in a couple hours. Hello. So this whole time I've been thinking this was like a drugstore one, but it's the same price as the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It was for like 23 US. Or I think we can get it for $50. But damn, this is pretty good. Look at that. Look at that. 
I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this. I actually didn't even end up hurting my eyes, even though I messed up that part this morning on my mascara. That was very annoying, but it didn't hurt. It was cool. And just randomly, look what I got. My Annette Makeup Corner container things. Super excited. All right. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Morning. We are doing the NYX Proof It Waterproof. I should have primed it today. And then let's do I need to keep showing you the palette because I keep I keep doing the like, same thing don't I uh, let's go on the pedal so one of the things I like about this next one is it has that claim of being waterproof and that really makes me wonder like if it's waterproof that means it should re resist sweat and theoretically oil but when the oil comes from underneath it is it really gonna make much difference and I have used this. I used it in my Swamp Queen look, but I cannot. I'm like, I, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it lasts pretty well. I'm just gonna use more petal, different brush, and just gonna tap this in the outer corner. And bright. Let's go back and put some jasmine in. And then benefit bad girl bang. We didn't get primer on my eyes today, so it should hopefully be just better. On the waterline, I've been quite enjoying using oh well it was linen, but we're gonna do seashell today. Let's show you what I came up with. Monday. I'll see you later. So I'm waiting for Ozpost. I'm calling them to annoy them. But let's check this in. So I have been pleasantly surprised. And this lasted probably six hours. A good six hours. It is 4.30 right now. And I got lots of comments. Pretty good. But we can just see we've got that big line there. I don't look too gross. It was getting there. But not too bad. It's definitely been worse. I'm impressed. Alright. See you next time. Good morning. Hello. We're back. I've had the weekend off from this palette. I'm pumped to get back into it. We're going to do the Rimmel London Magnify Eyes Primer today. I'm kind of excited. My friend really rates this one. So I'm excited to see how it goes. She did say it needs to be set, but I I haven't been setting any of them. So we're not going to do that today. But I'm just going to like layer it on. Time to blend her out. Oh, I'm sorry. My window is open if you can hear noises. It's just like it's a, it's a nice day. So we're blended. I'll finally bring you in. Let's get this look cracking. I think I'm just going to stop showing you the colors now. So I'm going to go on petal, just dab this on the outer. And bring it around and under. And let's bring petal up into the crease, I reckon. This is a bit tacky, which is exactly what my friend Rick warned me of. But that's alright. It's grabbing the shadow really nicely. And if anything's probably making it a little bit more pigmented. Will this primer be a winner? We've got high hopes today. Alright, then on the lid. Rose. Alright, Lana, let's chuck on NYX Faux White in Seashell. And Mascara, Maybelline the Falsies. Alright, here we go. Pre look. Alright, I shall see you once I finish my shift. I'll be back. I haven't even looked at this in like hours. But it was looking pretty good a couple of hours in. Let's have a look. Oh, sorry, hello, I'm back. Oh, damn. A small bit of loss. 
Well, no, it's more just transfer that. All right, I'm level 10 impressed with this primer and I'm so excited I bought it. But we still have more to go. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Uh, but the Rimmel Magnifier Eyes, damn. Hello, today, it's a bit earlier in the day before my shift, but I have very low hopes for the primer we're going to use. So I'm hoping I can knock out two primer tests today, but we'll see how we go. We're going to go on the Revlon Color Stay Eyeshadow Primer. And, um, there's a giant hall waiting underneath behind me, which I'm hoping will be up. Well, like, I'll get it up this week, but I've got to, like, get my shit together with it. Oh, ew. This is of... Oh, I don't like this texture. It just came out and was really runny. Let's see if I can... All right, no, I've shook, I've shaked it. All right, we're a bit better. But yeah, my thought already because of the runniness of this primer, like it's, it's, mm, it's gross. I think we're gonna, I think it's gonna be a quick, a quick test. So I can quickly fill my haul and come back and do it again. Do my face again. Oh, it is like runny grossness. I don't know. This is like one of the worst textures I've, mm. yeah. Not a fan. And it's run down my face already. Wow. All right. So you just at the edge. Yeah. It's down. So we're going to go in with the petal. Oh, that is greasy. I don't know. I'll be impressed if this works. More petal. And we're just going to bring this up here. All right. Well, it's blending really nice on it because it's such a cream. But I feel like my brush is getting wet. It is. I mean, and I know you might be a bit like, well, Prue just said it, but I haven't said any of these. I'm, about to, I'm not about to start just because it's being temperamental. All right, shimmer. Let's do flora, which is the purple, which we've done before. Just for something a little bit different. All right, something on the waterline, Nick Seashell. And mascara, let's go with the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. All right, and then let's just put a little bit of jasmine on the inner corner because we can today. Here is the look as it is. Are we in far enough? All right, and uh, it is 10.30. Let's see how long this lasts. I'm going to, uh, oh no, I don't know what I'm going to do if it lasts until I have to go to work. We'll find out. Alright, we'll see you soon. Alright, so this is two hours. It looks pretty good, to be honest. So we're gonna do a full proper check. I'll be back. So I've actually already tested this primer for two hours. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the footage or what I'm gonna do, but let's bring you in. We've got a fresh face. I've been showered. I'm ready for the day. So we come in one of these funny little things. We have a really gross texture. We've talked about this. Um, if I leave it in. But I'm just gonna tap this on my finger. Oh, it's like chunky. But it looked pretty good after two hours, which is better than Nude by Nature did. So I'm curious. There's something I really don't like about this um, feel. Why am I using my fingers then? All right, let's get a look cracking. Well, let's uh, go in with pollen. Sorry, the window is open again, but I like having my window open. All right, then just bring this through the crease a little bit with this little brush. And my eyes are unhappy today. They are not impressed. I'm doing this to them twice. They're like, what are you doing? Prue, how dare you? You've already done it once. And then I'm going to use Rose. What? Something in the waterline. Let's put lemon from my NYX Fair White tin. And... Covergirl Clump Crusher. And then I'm super excited to try this. I want to put the Australis Skinny Mini for your, and it's, for, it's just, bleh, it's specifically for your under lashes. Interesting. There we go. All right. Are you in close enough to admire my handwork? So that's what we look like. I will, uh, See you soon and see how this goes throughout the day. We're 12.47 now and um, 
I can only hope. It looks promising. All right. I haven't had a look in a while. I'm back. It's 10.45. Let's see what happened. It looked pretty good for a while, but we've got that last there. But it's not bad. Oh, no. I've definitely seen worse lately. What do you reckon? I think the Revlon is a surprise favorite. All right, good morning. Another day, another look. We're up to the Milani eyeshadow primer today. I'm so excited to give this a whirl. All right, so it's one of these squidgy ones. Let's, um, all right. We've got a little dollop. Let's bring you in so you can see. Ooh. This doesn't feel as gross as the Revlon one. But it's definitely a very similar moussey kind of formula. Just blend it out a little bit. And like it's looking chunky. Alright, my audio is still playing up. I think I caught it just as it did it. But we've been like set for like 50 seconds now. Because I got distracted playing with the audio. Alright, so let's sweep pedal up into the crease and cover up these chunky bits of this. Alright, so it's tacky, it's holding the colour. But the way it's dried, you can see it. I don't know. Because I had such high hopes for this one, I'm a bit, a bit more disappointed than I would be otherwise. But just still pedal and just dabbing that into the outer part. And then, you guessed it, rose. And mascara. I feel like I really want to try that Astralis one I just picked up and this is a Fake It. Oh, it's like the better than sex brush. And then let's go into the Skinny from Astralis. And yeah, I completely forgot the one. Oh, let's use a little shiny shine. I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs in Sunset. This is where the look is at. And I will come back and see you in a couple hours. It's 1 p.m. Uh, so I'll see you soon and we'll see how it's all looking at the end of the day. I'm excited for this one. All right, I'm back. It is 10.36. Uh, Hello. Well, let's have a look and see what has been happening. Hmm. Hmm. It's surprising for me. Alright, this is one that validates why I put it on both eyes, so I'm happy about that. But see on this one, we have more sort of loss there, or it's not as like opaque. And then this side, it is not too bad. I mean it's not too bad, but I'm pretty sure the NYX and the Revlon were better. Interesting. I'll be curious to watch this back and see what my old thoughts are. All right. There we go. I shall see you in seconds for you. Hours for me. Hello, welcome. So I've got the eyeshadow primer photo focus from Wet n Wild to try on our lids today. I'm so excited for this. I don't know anything about this one, so it's gonna be interesting. All right, so we're another one of these ones. Texture is looking like, I don't know, the same, but not too bad. It doesn't seem maybe as gross as, I don't know, the Revlon's always going to stay in my head. We are tacky. Um, but I think not moving as much is it's setting pretty quick. Alright, well I squeezed that a lot, so I'm just going to put it all on. Let's do a look. That set pretty quick, really, especially for the amount that I put on. Um, I'm gonna just put pollen in my crease with my Sigma brush. And it traveled. I don't really get how the primers do this. I think they just must be quite runny. Oh my god, get off of me face primer. But see how there's this bit here. Let's just try and get up with this foundation brush. Mm. So annoying. It's on this side. I did it on this side too. 
I'll be curious to watch back and see what what I did to cause this annoyance. Mm. Alright. It's like completely set. It's still going anywhere. I'm just gonna finish this, see what we're so see where it ends up looking and see if it's worth trying to attack and fix more pollen. I'm just tapping something out of the corner. And then going into rows and diving this on my eye. Let's go in with vanilla from my NYX Faux Whites and NARS Climax. I'm going to go with my Astralis Skinny Mini one for those lower lashes. There. Done. I'm sorry, those lashes look crazy. But I shall see you in a couple of seconds. Alright, it's about 10.40. I think this held up pretty well. I was impressed. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, damn. It's like small bits, but pretty good. Just if anything, there's that bit there. The bit that dried underneath my eyes is still there. And on this side. Alright, so that really locks in. Good to know. Thank you so much for sticking by. Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate it. So let's talk about the from losers to winners. We went through 14 eyeshadow primers. I learned a lot about eye primers. And like I said at the beginning, I used a five star rating system to rate them. For zero stars, we have four. Four eye primers that got that. I'm going to show you the how they ended up at the end as we talk through it. So Nude by Nature, completely lost. This was just terrible. I don't know how that was so bad, but wow. This Smashbox lid primer, which I was pretty sad about. This is, I don't know, I, I had such high hopes for it to last longer. The Pat MAC Paint Pot is actually a primer I use a lot. I'm wearing it right now. I do like it as a base for eyeshadows, but I don't tend to use it since doing that proper wear test with it, I definitely don't use it if I want the look to last all day. The ABH eye primer. This was pretty sad because I use this for cut creases a lot and it seems to last well on top of that, but when it's being the full base, it did not last well. So this was just sad. <laughs> it's so expensive. And yeah, I will just say it's kind of surprising what ended up at the top for me. I'm very surprised. I'd love to know if you guys end up being surprised. In the one star, I gave the Fenty eye primer and this mostly just redeemed itself with the Moon, like the Angelica Nyquist Divina set because that lasted really well with that over six hours. But with the Glaminatrix, it didn't last very well. I still do use this primer a lot. I like it. It seems to have a pretty good lasting power normally, but it just really failed with this one. In two stars, we have NARS eyeshadow primer in light and the Urban Decay Primer Poster in an original. The NYX Proof It in Waterproof. I did have higher hopes for this, but I only gave it two stars. It just didn't, it didn't live up to the hype, the expectations I had. In the three stars, these definitely are ones I would probably more likely recommend and use in the future, but we have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. We had a little bit of loss, but it wasn't too bad. It sort of hold out. The Milani Eye Shadow Primer, pretty well pretty similar for my four stars rating we have two and that is the Lorac eyeshadow primer this lasted pretty well and I was quite impressed but I actually thought this was gonna be more drugstore prices than it is it's quite expensive for what it is and also the Revlon color stay primer which I kind of I really hate the texture of this but it it works it does set and you can see it like underneath your shadow and it does run it's very temperamental, but it does kind of work. And our winners at five stars is the Wet n Wild Shadow Primer. So this one did run down my face and set and didn't move all day, but it really lasted and it took the whole thing out. For my winner though is the Rimmel Magnify Eyes Primer. I'm kind of shocked that it ended up being drugstore at the top. I fully expected it to be high end. And wow, 
Rimmel Magnify Eyes. It's tacky. It holds your shadow as well. I've used it a lot since filming this video and it is really good. I love it. It's easy to use, easy to blend in. It's my number one primer. Of all 